behalf of the Reng Mahoho, I extend warm greetings to all present at this Reng Mahaluzi Third General Assembly of 2024. I want to express my sincere appreciation to Mr. Kenneth Cart, President Salusi and his team for their commendable service during their tenure. I am confident that you and your team will continue to excel in, in your future endeavors. The team beyond us redefining our future urges us to think beyond the present, aiming for more inclusive, sustainable, and empowering future. As the vibrant and dynamic youth of our community, Salusi hold immense potential to shape our future. Your creativity and innovation can bring about positive change. Harness your energy to pursue your dreams and make difference in society. Advocate for justice, equality, and sustainability. In a world of constant change, it is vital to adapt new situations. Embrace change with the grace of God. Together with unity and collaboration, we can overcome obstacles, build strong relationship, foster understanding and create a better future for all. Before I declare the new team, I want to say thank you to the outgoing team led by Mr. Kenneth Card and his teams. We are very much thankful to you. And on behalf of all the Rangma youths, I want to say thank you very much. And this will be the last day for them. So shall we all give a round of applause to our outgoing Rangma Saruji team. Team Kataka, Seno Aliwa Alitimwa Alexaka Tengipe. Kawahu, Law Team De. I know I pick a living Benu Shibinyo, and pick a name when Kotoga, a team de Kajinik Loganu, Kashinka Jinik Loganu, Nanu Cheshitam Pigger, Njogebe or Tonchel of Waka Cookie Banu with a share, Ntu, Ngo and Konrika Shiga, Kakuluka Chongi and Rishinok of Shutzele B, Long Tungo Team, Bigger, Beyond Us, Ngone, Ngo Future Redefined Tim Nokofu, Team Kawatzi on Tonchika B. At the outset, I extend greetings from the Angami Youth Organization to each and every one of you present here. Kenneth and his team had started a very good purpose since its inception. Without saying much, we have all witnessed how and in what ways the Ringmas have benefited because of the Rengma Selozi. I have personally witnessed that the unity of the student and youth leaders of the, of the Rengma is the biggest asset of the community. I wish and hope that this fraternity, this understanding between the youth and student leaders of the Rengma community May continue and may you prosper in leaps and bounds. As the team of our, of our conference today says, beyond us, redefining our future. Yes, the Angami Youth Organization has had a very cordial relationship with the Rengma Selozi team headed by Ino you know, Kenneth. They had several 
instances of having interactions, even going out, outing, having a good personal time with each other as well. So according to the theme which you have set, let us all once again foster better relation and better ties among the youth organizations to protect and promote our people. Taking this opportunity, I would also like to congratulate Kenneth and his team for doing wonderful efforts and results, not only to the Regma community, but also setting benchmark and good examples for your community in particular and the Nagas in general. We look, the Angami Youth Organization, look forward to the theme of, you know, Kewayong Tab to have a very successful and meaningful tenor between the Angamis and the Rengmas. Thank you. On this auspicious occasion of Rengma Celosi 9th anniversary come 3rd General Assembly 2024, I, on behalf of the Lothar Youth Ho Ho, would like to give a warm greetings to all the members present here on this special day. It is indeed an honor and a choice moment for us to be a part of this occasion as a special invitees. We are so glad and happy to see that our president, Rema Salozi, under the dynamic leadership of Ms. Eno uh, Kenneth Gat. We feel that our Rengma brothers are also progressing like the race of Nagas, and we are so proud of his leadership. And we would like to congratulate him and his team for successfully concluding their tenure. And we would also like to uh, give a best of luck to the new team for 2024 to 2026. Last but not the least, I can proudly say that the bond of brotherhood and friendship among the Rengmas and the Lothas will always remain the same and intacted in our hearts. Lastly, as a token of love, unity, and appreciation towards all our Rengma brothers and sisters, I, on behalf of the Lotha Youth Ho Ho, would like to give a small gift to the president, outgoing president, Mr. Kenneth Gat. So now, may I kindly request our outgoing president, Mr. Kenneth Gat, to kindly uh, accept a small gift. Thank you, everyone. Long live Rengma Selozi. Thank you. The Soviet organization would like to extend a small token to our outgoing president, you know, Kenneth Pratt. Naga societies are currently undergoing a significant, a significant transitional phase encompassing political, social, and economic realms. As a shift from customary practices to contemporary formal structure. In this pivotal period of transition for Naga societies, it is imperative to foster unity and trust among Naga people. We cannot afford the erosion of trust among us Nagas in our shared endeavor. Bringing the youth together from diverse backgrounds and professions for a conclave as such serves as a catalyst for realizing common objectives and addressing critical issues such as youth unrest, cultural preservation, social justice, 
community development and advocacy for inclusive development. It is aptly said that future belongs to younger generation. Therefore, the involvement of youth voices is paramount in shaping the decision that will impact the trajectory of Naga society and future generations. As we commemorate the ninth anniversary of Rengma Silesi Inception under the theme Beyond Us, Redefining Our Future, the Sumut organization reaffirms its unwavering solidarity with Rengma Silozi, pledging to support both in triumphs and in tribulations. Together, let us forge a path forward hand in hand, unity in our vision for a better tomorrow. Once again, we extend our gratitude to Rengma Silozi for the, for the gracious invitation to Sum Youth Organization. Long live Rengma Silozi. Thank you, and Kupnalim. Passionate desire to keep our district green, the green initiative projects that uh, the Rengma Silozi had undertaken over the past nine years. I think these are the three highlights of the activities that Rengma Silozi has undertaken. And to encapsulate all the small, small events and activities and initiatives that the Rengma Silozi had uh, uh, contributed, it was very challenging. But nevertheless, as I said, through the continuous support of our members, our seniors, and the contribution of our uh, contribution of articles from our learned minds, we have prepared this very humble document. I would like to thank our uh, contributors of articles. I know it is difficult to sit and uh, do research and write, and I believe that these uh, uh, articles that is there in the document will be able to enlighten us. Now, uh, without wasting uh, much time, I would like to request our Honorable MLA, who is also our honored guest, to kindly come and uh, release our uh, document and put your signature for further uh, distribution. We would like to give the second copy to our special guest, Dr. A. Inshoga, Director of Higher Education. As we all know, the youth organizations or groups are often rated or considered as pressure group, and more often they are not. Even the youth organizations, they are tempted to take the laws into their hands, even though there are government governmental agencies, law and order, that provision is there to take care of those things. What we should be doing now is, we should be a collaborator with the government. We should strengthen the hands of the government so that our law, the, the framework of the governmental laws is protected and implemented. And as we live in a democracy where everything has to be done by law in order to deliver justice, I want to urge our youth organizations, especially our Rema Salozi and its constituent units, wherever you are, from whichever range you are, or even for that matter, our neighboring communities, our Lotha Youth Hohos, our Sumi Youth Organizations, our Angami Youth Organizations, I wanted to tell you that youth 
are the extended, we should, the youth organization should be used as an extended help, extended hand of the government agencies in order to create a conducive environment by abiding the law and order as a law and order abiding, uh, abiding citizens so that no organizations, no group takes laws into the own hands in the case, in the event of any situations that may arise. Because the incidents like this had, you know, uh, <clears throat> made everybody think of the youth organizations to be that of, you know, taking laws into the own hands. The Rimas are one of the biggest victims and losers for the failures of these two agreements. The Rima legislators have to take proactive role in the Nagaland Legislative Assembly and debate, uh, debates and discussion being the largest stakeholders. So these are the uh, major losses we find among the Rima Nagas. So to wind up my uh, short speech, I would like to uh, cite one example of a, a story from the story of a frog in a well. So that is uh, due to the microscopic minority of our people in uh, both Assam and Nagaland. I would like to give challenges to all the Rima youths. So the, the story goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a frog live in a small well. He was so happy uh, with the fresh water and he drank and swim in the well full of lots of mud to play lots of uh, juicy insects to eat inside the well. And he used to jump from walls to walls inside the well. And he thought that he is the king of the world. One day the visitor, that is a turtle, he was invited to visit him in the well. So the turtle was trying his uh, level best to visit the turtle who came from the uh, East Sea. So he was trying his level best to uh, go inside the well with a narrow opening. But uh, he could not uh, uh, go inside the well because the opening of the well is so narrow. So he uh, stopped trying to go inside the well. At the same time, he tried to narrate the story, how the vast of land in the outside world that is the big sea. Since he came from the sea, he narrated about the beauty of the sea and the vastness of the land. So narrating all this story to the frog in the well, having this, the uh, vastness of outside the well, the frog felt very insignificant and realized how limited his perspective was. So today, the ring must also our perspective was so uh, small. Our horizon is very small because we have a vast land, but we have left those land which is occupied by the foreigners. And we are living in just 256 square kilometers, known as the Semenyo district. So this is the uh, position uh, we are uh, living, and also the consequence, the situation we are facing today. So the moral of the story is like this. Uh, the, uh, don't be like a frog at the bottom of a well, and think that sky is only as big as the top of the well. There are lots of things for us to explore in this world. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone, but always keep an open mind. So have a big heart, dream big, achieve big, and uh, think beyond your horizon. So with these few thoughts, I would like to convey my best wishes once again to Remasology, not to get discouraged with uh, many impediments and challenges you will come across, but face with boldness without any fear and shudder. Save our land and people in safe hands. Thank you.